Honorable Speaker, sir, the reply to the start question number 31. Sir, there is no compensation to the beneficiaries under the Piggery Mission. Will you please? Mr. Speaker, sir, actually I expect that the reply will be yes, but the reply is no. Anyway, I have uh, some supplementary question. And number one is, I know from the Honorable Minister, any vaccination available against uh, ASF, that is number one. And number two is, after getting the loan, how many months, year, that the farmer has to repay the loans? That is number two. And number three is, may I know from the Honorable Minister, the total number of pigs died and also the total number of Pickery Mission Society in the state due to African swine flu or swine fever. So there is no stretch of the African swine flu, but there is an uh, African swine fever. Yes. So the question number one is the vaccination. Vaccination is available, sir. Number two, about the deaths of the pigs. Uh, I'd just like to... Uh, in the East Castles, number nine, Reboy District, 760, West Garo Hill District, 149, West Castles, 48, Southwest, uh, South Garo Hill, 7, and... Uh, Eastern and Western Cassians is what? And about the uh, the third question you have asked. Loan, loan. 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 Yeah. About the loan. Okay. The loan repay is just in the eight years uh, to repay the loans. Okay, thank you so much for the for the reply. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. Now I know from the Honorable Minister, what is the problem that the department of the government cannot give compensation to the pecari farmers? So this is, they have the component of insurance in the scheme, sir. So they don't have any compensation. Okay. Sir, as per my information, many uh, Farmers had lost their pigs. And one pickery mission in my constituency, that is nearby my village only, uh, Nongka village, informed me that about 90 number of pigs died. It's really a great loss to the farmers. And they keep asking me, from where we will get the money to repay the loan. Will the department, may I know from the Honorable Minister, will the department will consider to give some composition, compensation to the farmers? May I know from the Honorable Minister? So the suggestions of the honourable member is noted, but that I'm asking is not my suggestion. I'm asking, will the department have any intention to give uh, compensation to the farmers, pecari farmers? Sir, we have already noted down, uh, but only we have the components of the insurance. No compensation at present. Uh, that we already replied, sir. <coughs> One more, sir. As I have said that it's really a great loss to our farmers, pickery farmers. I have one suggestion from my side, sir. I request the government of the day to kindly take any steps. If not in full amount, at least something is better than nothing. So that our farmer Pickery farmer will restart the pickery farming in the state. This is my suggestion to the 
concerned department and to the honourable minister. Sir, so the insurance is about 4,000 rupees per pig, sir. If that farmers has lost 90, 90 pigs, sir, they can claim the insurance, sir. It does give it 4,000 per pig, sir. But the problem, sir, the problem that we have, see, sir, I got the information that many uh, piggery farmers, many of them has no information for that. They don't know about the, in, uh, you know, the, all the information, especially for the insurance that they have to, uh, you know, uh, bring the pigs for the post-mortem and all. I got the information because I, in my constituency also, especially in Ribohar district, many pickery farmers has no, has got no information for that. So may I request the Honourable Minister in charge to kindly take it seriously so that all the farmers, pickery farmers, will get all the information. So while they are being the loans, all the information has been given to all the those who have already applied for the loans, sir. those who have already built the loans. Sir. But whatever suggestion given by the Honorable MLA, which has been noted down, sir, to get the information to all the farmers. Sir. Okay. Yes, but. Yes. Sir, may I know from the Honorable Minister whether the amount of 4,000 insured for pigs is irrespective of sizes of pigs? It says 4,000 per pig, sir, for any size of the pig, sir. Uh, I'll just uh, supplement uh, uh, on what the Honourable Minister has already mentioned. That, sir, the uh, Pigri mission, as you know, uh, was something that uh, we have done uh, where uh, the cooperative societies were uh, brought out and uh, through these cooperative societies we gave loans. But apart from this, there are many other programs that the veterinary department is doing where distribution of piglets are also happening through other programs which are funded by the state government uh, and some funds from the central government. So therefore, it's a mix of many programs going on. So we try to compensate and help farmers in different ways. So yes, while this program has certain guidelines, because these are <laughs> guidelines given by center and we have to follow those, we try our best to also compensate uh, and uh, distribute piglets and uh, other, uh, 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 other, other forms of uh, animals uh, for uh, the farmers and uh, piglets are being also been distributed. So just, just for the knowledge of the honourable member that while there are certain laws and rules and mechanisms with which we have to follow, but other forms of support are also being given and distribution of piglets are also being, in addition, being done in addition to other supports. Yes, uh, Baroni please. So that's why we've been insisting that, you know, we have to set up veterinary hospitals uh, in almost all the districts. Otherwise, the investment will not uh, yield the benefit that is intended. So I don't know what is the component of the loan uh, that was uh, taken by the government. And now if uh, numbers of uh, pigs die, then the very purpose of uh, supporting the farmers is defeated. That's why I request upon the government and the minister sir, to set up veterinary hospitals so that you know, we can take preventive measures and ensure that it is not repeated. You see, now we've seen cattle farmers. Most of them have lost their cattle. Now, the same thing with the piggery mission. So, sir, all these missions will not yield the benefits if you know, steps are not taken to prevent such uh, occurrence of these uh, you know, deaths of all these uh, animals, these uh, livestock. Sir. So, I request upon the minister uh, since he belongs to the BJP also, and he's very close to the Prime Minister, to impress upon the Prime Minister to, you know, sanction loans to set up veterinary hospitals in almost all the districts. Sir. Well, he's a very senior BJP member, so I'm sure with sure. one word to uh, Prime Minister Ji, he'll get things done. Is it, is it a uh, suggestion or a question? <laughs> Pardon, sir? Uh, is it a question or a suggestion? No, the, the question is, sir, uh, when will the hospitals be set up, at least in the districts? For example, I've seen in my Upper Shilong area, sir, all the cattle farmers have lost their uh, cattle. And now they've gone back to labor, sir. I mean, working as labor, because if they had nine, ten cattle, all of them died. So we can prevent this and ensure that, you know, we uh, ensure that our 
farmer prospers and whatever activities they done, you know, it is upskill. Otherwise, the very purpose is defeated. So if you just only get loan, give it to them, and then there is no follow-up, then the very purpose is defeated. So I request upon the minister to ensure, I know last time also we had asked about uh, hospitals to be set up. So, sir, if this can be expedited, I would request the Chief Minister too, sir, to take this seriously, sir. Thank you. You wish to reply? Yeah. Sir, the question is not relevant with the main questions. But anyway, the hospital is very important. That's com coming soon, sir, to start the hospital in the, not in all the district, at least the state hospitals, sir. Sir, I'm very surprised the minister saying the question is not relevant. If I fall sick, sir, what do I do? I go to the hospital. So similarly, if the cattle, the pigs fall sick, they have to get treatment. Sir, I don't know if it is not relevant, then what are we here then, sir? Sir, the main question is for the compensation, sir. Yes, Pacha. I have a question, sir. May I know from the Honorable Minister, when was the State Animal Welfare Board, referring to animals, constituted? When was it constituted? Sir, at present, I don't have information with me. I require notice, sir. <coughs> then when was the last meeting called of the State Welfare Animal Board, sir? That also I require notice. <laughs> so this is very important, sir. Why I'm saying these can be linked. The Ministry of Health, uh, Animal Welfare has declared that every state must have a state animal welfare board. And the, the board is chaired by the Honorable Minister himself of Animal Husbandry and Veterinary. So this has to be taken very seriously and a meeting should be called so that all these things can be also discussed and linked. Thereby, we provide more services and information through the board also for the benefit of the farmers. So they don't have to suffer the losses they are going through now. So I would request the Honorable Minister to immediately call a meeting of the board and discuss this over the table, sir. Yes, sir. Noted, sir, Honorable Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. Uh, I'd just like to take uh, this opportunity because this matter has been brought out a couple of times in the House. Uh, of course, uh, the Honourable Minister and the Department has already sent a proposal for the veterinary hospital to be put up in Upper Shillong uh, in, uh, in the, for the state headquarter. And uh, I'm happy to inform the House also that after the proposal came from the veterinary department, an Honourable Minister has already spoken to me. I'm happy to inform the House that we have already sent it uh, under PM Divine to be sanctioned. So your, your point of uh, uh, following up with Honorable Prime Minister also is actually quite, uh, quite appropriate. So, so I thought maybe you knew it and that's why you were mentioning it also. But under PM Divine, we have proposed uh, for the uh, state hospital, veterinary hospitals. Uh, 30 crores has been proposed. Sir, I'd like to place on record my gratitude to the Chief Minister and the Honorable Minister sir, for this. So, okay, uh, one detail window, please. Minister in charge, this uh, piglet, it's a local uh, piglet was distributed all over the state. May I know from the minister, this uh, local, uh, local uh, uh, I mean this uh, piglet is being uh, uh, supply or distribute by the local uh, entrepreneur or bring in from outside? Sir, this is, this is not relevant with the main question, sir. No, because, uh, you know, you have, we have seen so many piglets have been, you know, dying while because uh, rearing uh, those uh, farmers, rearing farmers of piglet, they are find very difficult because it's uh, because of the climate or the weather, we don't know. That's why I want to know from the minister in charge, whether it's a local breed or bringing from outside. So, presently, the local piglets which are distributed, it is coming from outside, sir. <coughs> so, we oh, sir, so, sir, there are many local uh, entrepreneurs rearing uh, you know, of piglet. So, why not government, you know, find out the way to buy from them? At least they can, you know, get the job or, you know, find a way out how to the livelihood of our rearing of our piglet. Because so many 
you know, uh, farmers in my area, also in my constituency, or in East Kassel, they are doing this kind of job. It will help a livelihood of our farmers. If you can see into this, I think it will be nice or it will be helpful for the, our farmers in the state. Yes, yes, I don't know.